Another day of training camp is in the books. Zach Wilson has a successful surgery. Joe Flacco shines in practice, and we get our first round of camp cuts. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, we are talking a little bit of training camp day 15, I think, is what we're on right now. And we got a little bit of news, so let's jump right into it. Our first story of the day is camp cuts and roster moves, transactions. The Jets have released defensive back Luke Barco, offensive lineman Derek Kelly, Defensive end, Timmy Ward, and wide receiver, Rashard Davis. I was a little surprised with the Davis one because of how well he sort of performed um, in the camp practices that I saw. But alas, those are the four moves we make. We wind up moving Mekhi Becton over to the IR, so that frees up the five roster spots that the Jets needed to free up. So obviously with Mekhi moving to the IR, that ends officially ends his season for uh, the 2022 campaign, and hopefully he can get back and healthy for next year. Our other big injury news is Zach Wilson. He has a successful arthroscopic surgery. They were going in. It was, uh, I guess they trimmed a meniscus is uh, what I read. And then obviously since it was successful, they're thinking out two to four weeks. So that means the duration of the preseason, possibly ready for week one. Although I would venture to bet we're not going to force him into action just so soon. Uh, as week like one or two. I would imagine he'll probably sit at least a month. Uh, now that brings us to his replacement for that stretch of time, and that would be one Joe Flacco, who had a stellar, absolutely stellar practice today. 14 of 17, at one point completed 10 straight completions, had three touchdowns and a two-point conversion. This guy is going to be able to run the offense, and it's going to be exciting to see the potential of our skill players without having the 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 caveat of like oh well we have a rookie quarterback so maybe they didn't perform quite up to par because maybe he's not quite up to where he needs to be as a as a young quarterback so having Joe Flacco while it's you know not really the flashy guy that you want to lead your franchise he is a very capable starter especially week 1 when we go against the Baltimore Ravens i think there's going to be a little extra juice juice to this matchup. And I do think Joe Flacco is going to come out in a big way. Hopefully, maybe, uh, you know, catch a little magic. Catch those Baltimore Ravens sleeping a little bit. They're expecting Zach Wilson. Uh, maybe not so much Joe Flacco. We shall see. Get the ball into your playmaker's hands. Allow Elijah Moore, Garrett Wilson, Corey Davis, Brees Hall, Conklin, Uzama, Carter, all those guys to make plays out in space. And I think that's exactly what Joe Flacco can do with the bomb over the top as well. Uh, if they get the running game going, he starts working off the play action. So definitely um, maybe not as excited as I once was for week one, but I still think we have at least the same shot of potentially winning it as we did prior. So that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, and then I guess to round out the rest of today's camp highlights, if you don't follow Dennis, um, he's got a pretty good Twitter. He winds up posting like emojis based on how guys do each day at camp. And I have found it very therapeutic to try and figure out what each one of these means. So practice number 15, Zach Wilson at the hospital. Uh, looks like he'll be good to go soon-ish. Uh, Joe Flacco was our shining star today, obviously having the three touchdowns and the two-point conversion. Carl Lawson, Braxton Barrios, and Corey Davis all stood out in practice. You have a highlight catch from, or a highlight play from Denzel Mims, a sighting flash sighting, I guess, of uh, Ashton Davis. Keep your eye on Nam uh, Hamsa Nasseraldine. Uh, no fights, so that's a good thing. I guess maybe Lawson and Salah's conversation from the other day wound up going to heart and guys aren't winding up on the ground and you're not having those extracurriculars that you wind up having uh, so many issues. DJ Reed, I guess, was back. And as far as no walkthrough or possibly injured, um, not really seeing the field, Quinn and Williams... Is it Quinn Williams or Quincy Williams? One of the Williams <laughs> brothers. I have no idea. Just as Q Williams. Uh, Pinero, Eccles, Curry, McDermott, Joyner, uh, Idoga, and Balden. Uh, and then tomorrow we have the day off. So no camp as we prepare for our joint practices starting on Friday against the Atlanta Falcons. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Myself and Richie are actually going to be at the Friday practice. So if you're around the practice... And you want to say hi, come up and say hi to us because uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Guys, let me know your thoughts of today's training camp down below in the comment section. 
And as always, go Jets.